Hi guys, Mr. Palmer back again with our second question involving Stan and his speeding car. So in this one we have Stan, he's speeding in a silver sedan at 77 meters per second. He sees a police officer 90 meters in front of him. He applies the brakes and slows to 38 meters per second by the time he's next to the police car. And we want to find the acceleration and the time. Again, this is one of our classic if that problems. That is, it's an acceleration. We know it's giving us an initial and a final velocity, and so we're going to do our if that. Make sure that you are writing each of these and identifying them in the correct spot. You want to identify your variables, so let's go back to the question. So in our question, he was traveling 77 meters per second. That's going to be our initial. He slows down to 38 meters per second, but the police car is 90 meters in front of him. That's meters, that's our distance. And after he applies the brakes, it's 38 meters per second is his final velocity. Some students say, well, how do I know it's a velocity? How do I know it's a distance? Look at the units. It's telling you meters per second tells you it's a velocity. Meters tells you it is a distance. Make sure that those are going to be um, the same units. If this is in kilometers per hour and this is in meters, you have to get them so they're in the same units so our calculation is going to work. So we're looking for these two things. We're looking for acceleration and we're looking for time. And You guys should recall in an if that problem, in a constant acceleration problem, you know three, you know me, you've got three variables here that you've identified, so we want to pick one of your four kinematic equations. We can start by finding acceleration using our VF squared equation. VF squared equals VI squared plus 2AD, right? There is no time in this equation and it has initial final velocity and our distance and acceleration, the four things that we're looking at. Make sure that you're putting in your initial and final in the correct spot. Your final is 38 here on the left, that's 38 squared. Your initial is 77 squared plus 2 times A, which is what we're looking for, that's our unknown, times 90, the distance. So I recommend going through and doing all the squareds first, right, before starting to rearrange your equation. This is going to give you 1,444 equals 5,929 plus 2 times 90 is 180 times A. We're going to bring the 5,000 over, which means we got to subtract that from both sides first. Once you subtract that, it's going to give you negative 4,485 equals 180 times acceleration. We're going to divide both sides by 180, and you're going to get negative 24.9 meters per second squared. You need units, and you need a direction. It's very important that this negative is here. It's slowing down, so the acceleration is in the opposite direction. It's in the backwards direction. Negative 24.9 meters per second squared, and we can add it to our table. So again, we say, if you know three, you know me. All we have left to find is the time. And you're going to get the s simplest equation you can to find the time. So I would go with equation number one. VF equals VI plus A times T. Your final velocity is 38. Your initial velocity is 77. Your acceleration is negative 24.9 times the time. So on this side, we're going to bring the 77 over. That gives us negative 39 equals negative 24.9 times the t. So we're going to divide this 24, sorry, 24.9 into the negative 39, and that's going to give us a positive time of 1.57 seconds. 
Again, if you're getting a negative number for time, you're definitely doing something wrong in this problem. Okay, that's it for this one. Uh, stay tuned for number three coming up.